Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of this design. It was done using Lauren Sherman's script, which uses a combination of dots and lines on these four different stems to make our consonants. And vowels are a bit trickier. There are these smaller circles, and they have different positions depending upon what vowel they are and if they're attached on one of these four consonant stems. So this diagram here shows all possible combinations of consonant and vowel teams um, set up kind of like little words. So we read words bottom counterclockwise. So this line here would be the word circle, and on it we have vowels and consonants. This is an E vowel by itself, just on the line of the word circle. So that word circle line in this like short uh, version of the vowel key uh, is this line to the middle. So A's are outside, E's, I's, and U's are all on the line, and O's are inside. And then these little circles show the uh, consonant stem shape, roughly. I mean, the A's are pretty much wrong because this is the stem, and the A has to be outside the word circle. And this one's actually inside the stem. But anyway, let's go through the E's real quick. So, um, this is an E by itself on the line of the word circle. Then we have a deep divot, which is this stem here. So anything in this row is this stem, and it has an E in the middle of it, so right in the middle of that consonant stem. And then we have a circle inside the word circle, so this row, and it has an E vowel right in the middle of that, so this is like the E, I, and U position. Um, with the vowels being right in the middle of our consonant stems. And then a TE, so this row, or a shallow divot with an E. And then a TH, E, because anything in this row is a circle on the line of the word circle. So this is the line of the word circle, and there's that circle on it. So stylistically, I like to erase the little lines behind the vowels, just because it gets kind of busy if they're still there. So like I erase it here, and here, and here. Um, and it also helps to note whether it is a vowel, so this is like uh, a vowel on a shallow divot stem, so that's an O on the shallow divot stem, or if it's just overlapping consonants. So this is a consonant that overlaps with this consonant that overlaps with this consonant, and if I put a vowel on it, I probably would erase the, uh, the, the line going behind it. But anyway, let's go ahead and actually start reading this design. So it's set up... Uh, to be read left to right because if you imagine an infinitely large circle, um, the bottom of that, if you were to read bottom counterclockwise, you'd just go from left to right as the curve would never happen because it's an infinitely large circle. So that's why we read this first and then that next. So here's our first word circle and here's the bottom of it. This is the first letter we hit. It is an A all by itself outside the word circle. Then we have this deep divot. So we're in this row. And lines that pass through do not count. So this line doesn't count as a line here because it passes cleanly through it. If it were to end on it, it would count. So nothing ends on this. There are no dots, no lines. So that is just a B. Continuing around here, we have a shallow divot. So this row. And there are one, two, three dots on that stem. And the dots, they can be big and they can be small. They can be inside. They can be outside doesn't matter, they can be on the line, so long as they're closest to this stem, they count for this stem. So one, two, three dots is an R. Then we have an I, so it's on the line of the word circle, and it's got a line going towards the middle. So this line, it can be curved, it can be straight, but if it's an I, it's got to go towards the middle first. So here's the I, and then we have the A outside the word circle, just like this A. And then this is just the line from this double N. So we have two circles, and they're the same thickness, so it's the same letter twice. Um, and a double line is a double letter. So we have a double letter, and this letter has one line ending on it. So that makes it a double N. And then the A is attached to it. So if you have a constant and vowel team, so the, that JA here and this double NA, you always read the constant first and then the vowel. So that's why I read the double N before the A here. And a little thing to point out here, this line ends on the double N. This one does not. So it's important that this one ends here, and this one does not. So remember that. If you're going to remember anything, remember this one ends here, that one doesn't. Just like this one doesn't end here, and it doesn't here. I did a similar trick on the, the back side. So anyway, A, B, R, I, A, double N, A is our first word, our first name. And then we have our next name, and it has a sneaky letter. So this here is the letter C, because it's got one, two, three, four dots next to it. This dot's closest here, um, 
so it counts there. And cease, you're only supposed to use in proper nouns or in acronyms, but this is a proper noun, it's a name, so we use the actual letter C. And then we have the A, and then we have this letter here, it's another circle inside the word circle, so we're in this row. And I did something tricky with this line. So this line ends here and ends here, because we're looking at this thick letter. This thick letter is the M, and it's got one, two, three lines ending on it. So it's important that this line ends here and doesn't connect up to that vowel, because that makes it an I, and it needs to be an E with no line, because E's are like I's, except E's don't have a line. Anyway, so this, even though it's one line, it ends twice, so it counts twice. So one, two, three lines. Makes that an M, and then we have the E, and then we have this shallow divot with three dots. So just like this R, one, two, three dots, one, two, three dots, shallow divot, shallow divot. And then we have the O on that R stem, right here. And then we have this last letter. Um, it is a circle inside the word circle, just like these guys. And it's got one line coming from it. So this would be an N, like that, just like this double N. And we can uh, play a lot with the different sizes. This is pushing, uh, kind of looking like a vowel with it being a bit small, but this one is too, so me. Um, this is a deep divot, and you can't have vowels that have a little piece taken out of them. But anyway, um, and this is just the sentence circle kind of going around everything, and I think I sent you a design that doesn't have this sentence circle bit here. So yeah, C-A-M-E-R-O-N. So yeah, that's that design. I hope the transcription makes sense, and I hope your tattoo goes well. Bye.